You don't have to carry that, this, those, or them. It's been too long. Too much weight. Too much baggage. And you can't see it. But the Lord, sure enough, can open up every locked door and every locked case. And he can take it out of there. He'll take your burden. But you've got to come today and give it to him. Would you do that? Would you say, Lord, I lay aside every weight because you paid for it, and I give it back to you. That today is the freedom that we find in this place. of Bogalusa with Bogalusa on our heart. We look forward to you joining us in person sometime soon as we worship the Lord together.
the influence that I had to be, what society said I had to be in order to receive love, acceptance, or security. As hard as I tried, I could never measure up. I repeatedly fell short. I would fall to a defeated crumble as I was turned by all my outside influences and voices. It's not enough. Ugly, unworthy, forgotten, rejected, impure, garbage, addict, forever broken, second best, lonely, disgusting, unsavable. Whose voices name you? It's amazing the power we've given to our past, to our mirror, to my surroundings, and enabled them to identify me. The years I spent trying to live up what others said I had to be, but God, he said something else about me. It's as if he knew there would be other voices, so he wrote his voice down in a timeless book for all to read. I'm going back to the source, not the other people I've allowed to represent God in my life, but the actual tangible words he has written for me. Here's some names he calls me. John 15, 15, he calls me friend. 1 Thessalonians 1, 4, he calls me chosen. Ephesians 2, 10, he calls me his workmanship. He calls me his art. He calls me handmade. He calls me purpose, fashioned for good things. 1 Corinthians 6, 19, he calls my body a temple. He calls it the residence of his Holy Spirit. Acts 8, 1, he calls me a messenger to the world. Galatians 3, 26, he calls me his child. Romans 5, 8, he calls me greatly loved. John 8, 36, he calls me free. Free indeed. Yes, yes. 2 Corinthians 5, 7, he calls me brand new. Amen. It's mind-blowing how different these names are from what I'm used to listening to. In my journey to understand who I am, to uncover the truth of myself, I've learned that I have a new name. This is something I'm certain of, that my name is not the name the world calls me, not the name my past calls me, not even the name my own mirror calls me. My name is the name that I answer to who I choose to answer to a new name. When I hear lonely, that's not me. Disgusting, that's not me. Unworthy, I don't even look over my shoulder. When I hear broken, they must have me confused. Please look elsewhere. When I hear ugly, abandoned, jumbly, trash, useless, forgotten, never gonna change, I figure somebody must have to remind them those were my old names. Those are no longer the names I respond to. My name is the name I've chosen to spend my days living up to. And if these other voices are not saying the same thing that the truth is saying, then I look in the mirror and I remind myself that they have no right to be speaking.